Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I am going to explain another C program to print the Fibonacci series up to n number of terms. The input of this program is the number of terms. The output is the Fibonacci series up to n number of terms. For example, user is giving the n value is 7, then your program output should print this sequence of numbers. The sequence of numbers logic is something like this. You have to initialize the first value to 0 and the second value to 1. From the third number onwards, this third number can be obtained the sum of first number plus second number. That is 0 plus 1. This is the third number. Now consider the last two numbers. This is 1 plus 1 that is equal to 2. And this 3 can be obtained the sum of previous two numbers. That is 1 plus 2 that is 3. This 5 can be obtained 2 plus 3 that is equal to 5. 3 plus 5 that is equal to 8. In this way, we can get the third number by the sum of its previous two numbers. Let's think how we can do this. We have to initialize the first two numbers that is n1 to 0, n2 to 1. For just representation, I am showing this kind of blocks. n1 value is 0, n2 value is 1. Now we have to loop out the process and find the n3 value. You can get the n3 value by the sum of n1 plus n2. Here n1 is 0 plus 1 that is the n3 value. So now we are finding n3 value is 1 now. Now from this you have to update the n1 and n2 values. So that means this n2 becomes n1 and this n3 becomes n2. That means ignore this first number in this case 0. Now we have only two numbers like this. Here we have two numbers like this. In this the first number this one and this is the second number. Now if you observe in these two diagrams this n2 becomes n1 now. This is the first number. This n3 becomes n2 now. That is, this is the second number. That means we have only two numbers here. This is the first number and this is the second number. This previous diagram now got changed to this one. Now, if you observe in this diagram, n2 becomes n1. That is the equation I am writing. n2 becomes n1 now. And n3 becomes n2 now. That is, n3 becomes n2. Now, again, we have to find out what n3. You can get the n3 value by sum of n1 plus n2. So sum of n1 plus n2 that is 1 plus 1 that is equal to 2. Now we are getting the n3 value. n3 is now 2. Again next process. You have to ignore this first number. And now this n2 becomes n1 the same point And n3 becomes n2. So simply this diagram got changed to like this. Ignore this number. Now we have only last two numbers like this. n1 is this one, n2 and n3. Now what we have to do? We have to update the n1 and n2. See here, you ignore this. This is not n1 now. Now we have n2 and n3 here. You can see here n2 becomes n1 and n3 becomes n2. There is a point I have written here. n2 becomes n1 and n3 becomes n2. Similarly, we have to find out the n3. n3 is equal to n1 plus n2. n1 is this one, 1 plus 2 that is equal to 3. Now I am getting again n3. In this way, we have to continue the process. The other cases, see here 1 plus 2 that is 3 now. Then 2 plus 3 that is 5 now. And 3 plus 5 that is 8 now. In this way, the process will be continued. So the logic behind this program is first read the number of terms, how many number of terms you want, this is n value. Print n1 and n2, that is n1 is initialized to 0, n2 is initialized to 1. And for each term from the third position, compute n3 is n1 plus n2 and print the n3 value, update the n1 and n3 values. Let's write the program. Hash include stdio.h, int main function and return 0. The first thing is the declaration int. We have n1. This n1 is initialized to 0. This is a first number. We have n2. This is initialized to 1. Now we have another term. How many number of terms we require? That is n value. And we need to compute the n3 every time. Then first print printf. 
enter the number of terms how many number of terms you want this is the n value scan f take it from the user percentage d comma ampersand n this is the first step in this program take the n value in the next step print the n1 and n2 print f percentage d a space i am giving for printing comma n1 i am printing the n1 value we have n1 is 0 this is the first number and print f print f percentage d a space comma n2 i am printing n2 value so now i have to write the loop for this you can use the for loop for i is equal to 2 why I am taking the initialization from 2? Now I already I printed two numbers. This is 0 and this is 1. So now I am starting from second position. I less than n up to n number of times. I plus plus. Every time increment the i value by 1. Inside this for loop, I have to find out the n3. How you can find out the n3? n3 is equal to n1 plus n2. Print f percentage d a space comma n3 i am printing now what do you have to do you have to update the n1 and n2 values how you can update this n2 becomes n1 that is second number becomes first number now and third number becomes the second number this is the simple logic so for example if i give n value is 7 now i is equal to 2 2 less than n condition is true n3 is 0 plus 1 that is 1 now print the n3 value now n2 becomes n1 as we have shown in the previous diagram n2 becomes n1 and n3 becomes n2 now so in this way the process will be continued for iteration purpose declare the i variable i here save this file compile this file and run this file enter the number of terms if i give 7 you can get 0 1 2 3 5 8 let's compile this and run for another test case if i give 15 then you will get up to 15 terms this is a fibonacci series of 15 terms if you have any queries please comment in the comment section thank you for watching <music>